Max, what does it mean to be a burncoat patriot? It means you gotta be a real fucking moron. So, as you're watching this, you're probably wondering, what is burncoat? Well, to me, I don't think burncoat, its essence, can really be described in words. It is truly a magical experience that one can really only experience in person. I took a personal deep dive into my high school to find out just how did the students act? What did they think about their school? Did they want to get out? Did they enjoy it? All sorts of questions. This is the deep dive into Burncoat High School. Our story, like all good ones, starts in a cafeteria. I was going to ask students what it meant to be a Burncoat Patriot and if the food they were eating was sustainable for them for the whole day. So, so Harrison, what are we having for lunch here today? Uh, some shitty nachos. All right, what's your opinion on these nachos? Uh, I haven't tried them yet. All right, have green you green tried green. the nachos yet, sir? Sir, I do not like being recorded. Okay, thank you. But no, I do not. Okay. Yeah, no, pretty shitty. We think? They're pretty shitty? Yeah. Do you think that these are, uh, are these good substances for burn coat patriots to consume? Do you think this provides enough nourishment? Nah. I mean, we get this in the day. Thank you, Harrison. Alright, so, Brian, uh, what is it like being a burn coat patriot? Fucking sucks. I hear that. So, do you think that the food they're supplying us is enough sustenance to last kids through the day? Fuck no. Like, is it enough to support a Burnco Patriot? Hell no. All right. Miles, what 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 is it like being a Burnco Patriot? It sucks. Understandable. Madison, what's your opinion on being a Burnco Patriot? Her other real Western tab. She True. She likes being a Western tab because she has a boyfriend there. Anthony, uh, what is it like being a Burnco Patriot? Orange. Thank you. Any, anything else to expand on? Um, are you involved? Did you just, what did you do? Of course, I got very similar answers from everyone. Uh, being a burn coat patriot was shitty and so was the food. But after all these fun and games, we still had to do some dirty work. Oh, this is some premium burn coat shit here. I got some yogurt on me. Um, I don't know how we're gonna do this right now. This is disgusting. This should this is not burn coat patriot material. Not in the slightest. Oh lord. This is why we can't have nice things. This is not ideal. But then again, it is burn coat. So this is to be expected. Here in Spanish class working on a little project. I'm here with the co with the co-creator of this Max. Max, how, how, what is it like working on a Spanish project of uh, this value? It's really an interesting project because I'm sure if I knew Spanish, this would be a lot of fun. I don't know Spanish, so I, I can't write a story in Spanish. I feel the same way, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure many people in here also feel the same way. <laughs> So after our conquest in the lunchroom, I decided to go to my sixth period class, which happened to be geometry. Now this would be indeed a short section, but I think one of the most important. Well, Jose, what is it like being a burncoat patriot? It, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> it sucks? I had no choice. Well, what do you think about like the academic status of burncoat? Do you think they're teaching you well here? No. Well, yes. They just put too much. They try to cram too much in. They try to cram too much in? Time. Okay, but overall it's a good experience, you'd say. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. At this point in the journey, we arrive to the gymnasium, or as it is known by the Patriots, the pit. <laughs> Aiden, yeah. what do you think about the physical fitness at, at BHS? I think that it sucks. I think that everyone that participates should be killed. All right. I think... <laughs> And I think that Jared Bean is the only uh, valid participant. Yes, yeah, Jared Bean is pretty cool. Damn, you got the iPhone 13. This is a Samsung. No, it's not. Look, it got three cameras. Look. You have a weapon. What? Where did you oh, find that? I think I've lost the point of this interview. Stefanos, what is your opinion on the physical fitness of Burncoat? Uh, eh. I mean, you get to walk around and stuff. I'm an asthmatic. I can't uh really do stuff like that. But yeah. Oh no. It's okay. So, you, do you still think that even though you have asthma, you still have equal grading opportunities as everyone else? Yeah. Okay. That's good. 
make it insane. <laughs> Maria, what is your opinion on the physical fitness of Burncoat High School? It's Man, just not too. a thing. It just isn't there. So, no. do you think that the Burncoat Patriots are getting enough physical fitness they need? Um, no, but that's kind of like power choice. We just walk in circles. <laughs> And then after those few interviews, me and the boys decided to indulge in the enthralling sportsmanship of the Burn Co. High School. second day on my journey and I started off bright and early on the walk to school. So William, it's uh it's day two of recording the documentary. Uh so I haven't asked you yet, what do you think about being a burncoat patriot? Being a burncoat patriot. Uh-huh. It's like jumping off a cliff blindfolded. Now while on our travels we encountered something that was a pleasant surprise. We ran into the local pimp, Ebenezer. You're done now? Ebenezer, what's your, what's your opinion on being a Burncoat Patriot? My opinion on being a Burncoat Patriot. Yeah. Patriot. Do you like anime? I love anime. Do you like anime? What's an anime? Huh? What? But alas, almost as fast as he appeared, he had left. God, what a man. But now, despite the sad and sudden departure of our dear friend Ebenezer, me and William pushed on where we met up with another one of our friends, Anthony the Italian. I for gore! Man, we'll walk into school because it's like 6.30. It's actually 7. But we got the amazing Anthony and uh, this stupid Irishman here. You got me. Oh, I'm covering the camera. It's gonna be a glorious day of filming. I can feel it. Ow! Israel has the highest population of Jews. That's they created a home homeland after World War. Oh, I wonder what they were trying to write here. Um, looks like I forgot one letter. That's icky. So after my first few classes, it became time for Spanish class, where me and my friends were working hard on our project. I think I just sworn you said the Taliban. Well, he did, but I think Russia should get like, into Ukraine. Taliban, Taliban's old news. Old news, yeah. Old news. But Ukraine, though. Ukraine's jumping. It's the place to be right now. They say it's the next Silicon Valley. <laughs> Vodka Valley. How do you make another Silicon Valley? Ukraine. Do I need to elaborate further? No. Question, Max. It starts with T and ends with E. What is it? Telephone. <laughs> I'm Polish. What? You're Polish? Sure. I'm not actually Polish. I'm ironically Polish. You're not Polish. Look at this man. <laughs> I'm just mostly after. I heard my balls make your mom feel better. Really? I did the same. feeling down. <laughs> you mind if I lock him off and give him <laughs> He scratches the garbage disposal for scraps. I would like to see the food. He gnaws orange peels. <laughs> What's your opinion on Burncoat High School? Um, it's okay. It's, it's too big. Alright, well, duh. do you feel safe at Burncoat? Yeah, kinda. Uh, why is that kinda? Do you not feel 100% safe? We can't wear hats. That is true. My hat plays yeah, Bluetooth. <laughs> it's sad. So now at this point, Spanish was done, now it was time to head to lunch. Uh, but this lunch period was a bit more odd than the other ones. Oh, so Grace, why do you need my phone? I need to call him. Oh, what's his name? I, no, like I need to download Discord. You need Log to? My, into my account and I need to call him. I'm not letting you go on my phone and go on to Discord to log in to call your, what I'm presuming is like, I don't know, a, a drug dealer. I, I don't know. He's not a drug dealer. He's literally my boyfriend. And you um, forgot his name. Yes. I didn't even know what.
what to do in that situation. I don't really think there's anything you can do besides just deny them service. Max, what's the strategy of putting this chicken dipper sauce on your carrots? They wouldn't give me fries. Why not? <laughs> Did they deny you service? Probably because I'm German. <laughs> That's Skyrim. This is Skyrim. <laughs> There's a quite a lot of oranges in there. That's naughty! That's naughty! So now was the end of the day, unlike any other day, we went to gym, and we uh, uh, recorded our last interview of the day. Alex, what is your opinion on being a Burncoat Patriot? Being a Burncoat Patriot is awesome, however, I can tell this is an old building, my mom has been here before, and your mom has probably been here, well, been the whole thing, my but what's even awesome about it is, it's but uh we got rust there but it's a great opportunity you can see all the championship marks but me being a Burkle patriot as a team member yeah, it's not in the last, the last couple of so, yeah yeah you know yes so it's day three of recording and we've already seen some tragedy. It's um, it's like negative six degrees out, and I was gonna drive to school, but uh, my mom's car wouldn't start, so she couldn't drive me. So we have to walk uh, to school in six neg negative six degree weather. It's uh, not very fun. Oh. 